Uh, this is the RRD Wave Cult Contest Edition in Quad. Uh, it's the same shape as last year, but they've done loads of things to try and reduce the weight. So um, they've used different materials throughout. They've kept the same sandwich thickness through the tail, so it's still strong, but reduced the sandwich uh, thickness in the nose to make it a bit lighter. It's also um, got slot boxes in the front this year, which again saves a few grams. They decided to keep the US box in the tail though, so it's nice and strong when you hit rocks. Uh, all RRD boards come with MFC fins, which is good value. Um, the Wave Colt is uh, a slightly flatter, faster, easy going board. Uh, it's what I use a lot in kind of more onshore conditions uh, in Pozo and here in Tenerife. Uh, it comes in three sizes. This is the largest one, this is a 92, there's an 83, and la lastly a 75. And um, you know, compared with the, the hardcore wave, like I said, they're a bit flatter, they're a bit wider. Um, plane, plane earlier, probably better jumping boards, um, but you know, on the downside, they're maybe not quite so radical. They turn more so like drivey, carvey. It's a bit more like flicky, which is really nice for onshore conditions. You know, like in the south coast of England, for example, where it's a bit mushy, really good for sliding around turns. And, and sort of ripping and um, the more it comes with the kind foot straps yeah the also the board also comes in a single fin for more conservative people that like the feeling of you know the solid feeling you get with a single fin uh, the same size is obviously with a single fin and yes that's the wave cult and the contest edition